what's up everybody? It's Chris here. This is going to be a bit of a rant. I'm pretty sure all of you on YouTube are aware of the uh, Google Plus YouTube integration bullshit that YouTube is trying to pull. Or Google's trying to pull because they own YouTube. Well, it's basically screwing up everybody, everything for everybody's comments and everything. Oh, holy crap, it's windy. <laughs> um, and I, for one, am just, I hate the whole idea of it. I'm, the only reason they're doing this is because they're trying to get people to sign into Google Plus and make accounts because they want it to be popular. They want it to be the next Facebook. And it's annoying and stupid. One of the things I hate about it is, I mean, they're forcing you. Whoa, a little, a little close there. <laughs> I was a little, a little the inside. I wasn't on the other side of the road, but I was close to it. But yeah, well, one of the things, that, I mean, they're doing it to force you onto Google Plus, which. I'm sorry, I don't like people forcing me to do anything. And it's unnecessary. There's no technical reason for it. I mean, YouTube system has been working. I mean, they've been sitting there trying to force you into doing things over and over for a while now. They've been trying to force me to sign into, you know, set up my account on YouTube with my real name. I don't have a problem with you people knowing my real name. Um, a lot of you do. A lot of you can figure it out very easily. But it's, you know, when I'm doing the motorcycle vi videos, I'm unstable boy. That's what I'm doing as. You know, a lot of people know me as unstable boy. And they're, no, you need to use your name. It's like, we should oh, oh, why don't you change it to your real name it's like um no I mean I've they've put up the question every time I started using YouTube like I don't know how many times over and over and over use your real name it's like no I don't want to use your real name no I don't want to and it's frustrating I'm tired of answering the same question and originally I you know they asked the questions well why don't you want to use your real name it's like well because it's an online persona that I'm using and that was fine. I thought that would be the end of it. No. Use a real name. It's like, no. And now they're basically breaking the comment system unless you have a Google Plus account. And unless you sign into Google, which is stupid. There is no reason for it. That's like having a cell phone that you can only dial from your home computer. It, it, it's why would I need another device to use this device? Why would I need Google to use YouTube? YouTube should be YouTube. I should only have to sign in to one thing to use that one thing. I shouldn't have to sign into multiple systems to use, you know, the one. And again, it's only to sit there and push Google+. Plus. There's no other reason for it. They want everybody on Google+. Plus, and it's just... It's a frustrating. I mean, I don't want a Google+, Plus account. Hell, I didn't want a Facebook account. You know, my personal Facebook account was... Well, pr pretty much forced upon me. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a story unto itself. There was physical and violence involved, so but we'll get into that another time. There's not much I can do about it. I mean, the only thing I can do about it, which I am going to do before this video goes up, I am going to unmonetize all of my videos. Because when I have monetized videos, uh, Google gets more ad revenue. Well, if they're doing this shit, no, they don't deserve any of the ad revenue from my videos. This is not the way you treat the people who are giving you their content. I mean, pretty much we're taking the stuff we do, our videos, our time, putting it up on their system, and they make money off of it. 
we sometimes make a little bit of money off of it. But and if, if we do that, we make them more money. Because they take a larger chunk of the ad revenue than we actually see. And granted, I'm not big. I'm not, you know, I don't have a million subscribers. I don't have, you know, I'm not like the end-all be-all of YouTube content. I'm not making, well, I'm hardly making any money. I'll tell you that right now. But it doesn't matter. They're making money off our content and then screwing us over in the process. So I'm going to make so they make less money off of my videos. And I mean, I wish I could sit there and go to everybody on YouTube and say, do the same until they fix this. But I doubt that'll ever happen because people are like, well, I'm making money off of it. So anyway, enough of that rant. So other than that, it is getting colder. The leaves have changed. Look at the pretty colors. They're starting to fall. Which is making riding interesting. You know, riding in colder weather, which I've done for the past couple years, has taught me that there's a couple things you need to watch out for as the weather turns. First off, I mean, obviously the temperature gets colder, so you have to dress in more layers and different gear and stuff. Still use my uh, regular gloves. I don't think it'll, eh, it probably will get cold enough tonight to warrant winter gloves, but I'll just tough it out with these. But I do have my winter jacket on, I have a sweatshirt. Um, the rock jeans do provide, I will say this, they do provide a bit of insulation. And when I use it in conjunction with my overpants, um, they're actually pretty warm, so that's that's a good thing. But I mean, that's the most obvious. Um, the other concern with temperature is the road temperature. The road's going to be colder, which is going to get you give you less grip. And also, in relation to that, your tires are not going to warm up as quick or as much, which also is going to rob you of some traction. So when you ride in the cold, you just have to be aware that you know traction will be reduced. And the warm-up time for your tires will be increased. So, I mean, if you sit there and leave your house, and you know in a couple blocks your tires will be warm and you'll be able to take the turn, well, if you're riding in the cold weather, it's going to take a little longer than that. So, just be wary of traction concerns. One of the things I do to test traction, you know, check my tire temp, is coming to a stop. I'll use a bit more back brake and try to, you know, try to just lock it up a little bit just to see where that point is. And if you do this a couple times, and I'm not saying, you know, just lock it up at speed and do a giant skid mark. I'm just saying when you're coming to a stop, just a little, a little chirp. You know, see where that point is. And this gives me a pretty good sense of where the traction is on the road. You know, after a while you get used to it and you can tell, okay, you know, roads a little slick, you know, roads are doing okay, tires are warmed up, tires are, you know, you get a judge for that. The other thing you need to watch out for, well, you can see all the leaves blowing around. Wet leaves are slicker than ice. I have ridden in snow, not a lot of snow, but you know, a little bit of snow. You just go to my video Ninja on Ice and you can see that. Um, I think wet leaves are, can actually be slipperier than that. those conditions. I mean, they are, there's just no traction once you get sliding. So you have to watch out for piles of leaves on the road, you have to watch out you know, a lot of people, especially in this area, they'll rake the leaves or blow them out into the street, which I'm against. You know, they figure, eh, we'll make the uh, town pick it up. Keep an extra eye out on the road surface to see if there's anything 
on the road leaves such as this and generally the uh, other thing is people on the road stop expecting motorcycles to be out not that they pay attention you know normally but in the winter time especially they just they have no concept that people would ride in colder weather I mean I get asked the question all the time aren't you cold why are you riding why don't you use a car it's like I, I, I want to ride but so you know, fall and winter come with their own hazards. And of, of course, you know, in the morning, you start getting frost and the possibility of black ice, which is not fun. Um, thankfully, I've never crashed due to black ice. I've crashed due to other road conditions, but... That is something you really have to watch out for. In fact, normally if there's a chance of black ice, you know, freezing temperatures after rain or something like that, I'll generally avoid riding or I will be super extra cautious. Super extra cautious. I won't ride as aggressively as I normally do take my time especially in the turns and basically you know, try not to fall over so yeah if you are in the northern hemisphere and the weather's changing for you guys just remember there are added hazards in fall and winter riding so not just the obvious so keep it safe I guess I'll end here uh, please you know, subscribe to my channel if you're able to I don't know what the hell Google's doing with the system anymore like this video my Facebook link is in the description down below my Google Plus account is nowhere to be seen thanks for watching this is Unstable Boy I'll talk to you later bye trash in the middle of the road. Uh, stay in your freaking lane, dumbass. Not supposed to rain till 7 p.m. It is not 7 p.m. It is 4 p.m. And fuck, there goes my easy pass. Shit. You know, talking. Apparently I have a problem talking. <laughs>